Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca playlist. And today I am going to talk about another interesting feature which is available in the multi user workspace inside your Tosca commander, which is how you can create different users and user groups and how also uh, how you can manage them. Okay, so if uh, you are working in a multi user workspace, which is pretty common when you are working uh, within an organization or an actual project with different team members and uh, if you are one of the admins uh, within the group then you can go ahead and create different user groups uh, and also different users within that user groups okay and then uh, you can also assign these user groups to different uh, sections depending on which user group should have uh, what kind of access rights on your project or on your repository okay so uh, where you can access the user management uh, well it is not on the top menu bar but when you click on your root project uh, you will see a tab where it displays user management okay so this will uh, be only available if you are working on a multi-user workspace which i have already shown how to create a multi-user workspace okay now, uh, in order to make any changes uh, in user management, you need to check out the root folder. Okay, so don't forget that. And once you check out that, uh, you can then uh, do any kind of changes in here. Okay, so as you can see, I have already created a few user groups uh, which I'm going to delete. So this will show you how you can basically delete different user groups. Okay, um, but do keep in mind that even if I delete the user groups, the users are actually not deleted. Okay, so if I've created these three different users, uh, these are not deleted. Okay, from uh, even if I delete the user group. Okay, um, also in the view option, um, I can, uh, there is an option for show disabled users. So if I don't want these users to be displayed here, I can just check out these uh, enabled options for these users and then i can just toggle um, around like which users should be displayed uh, here or and which should not be displayed okay so this is how uh, you can toggle disabled and enabled users uh, inside your group so by default in your multi-user workspace there are two groups created uh, one is the admins and one is the all users okay so whatever users you create uh, inside your workspace will all be listed down here and then uh, some of the users will be admin so they will be added into this group okay by default there is a admin user as you can see you cannot disable this user okay but you can always create more users so uh, let's jump to how we can create a new user uh, inside a user group uh, but i think it will make sense if we first create a user group right so if you uh, right click on your root project and there is an option to create a user group so this way you can create a user group so i can name it tosca specialists okay and then um, i can create another group called uh, Tosca design specialists okay so uh, this way uh, you can have different groups based on the role assigned to uh, different people or uh, you can also create groups depending on uh, if you have a certain project uh, which should have certain access then you can create a group for that particular project right and then uh, inside this we can create different users so when you right click on a user group you will get an option to create a user and here um, i can add any number of users okay so by default they will be named user 6 but i can always name them okay and then there are different options available um, like what kind of uh, whether you uh, want to enable them if you want to disable them later on okay uh, you can also provide a description like uh, user or uh, design specialists 
user group okay and then this one project user group so this is just to make sure that you can identify which user group you are working with you can also specify a particular domain if you want right and then uh, you can enable and disable which i have already shown you now there's also a setting called set result allowed and uh, if you uncheck this option then this particular user will not be able to set a result manually okay so whatever result uh, it gets from the execution will be displayed uh, but you cannot set the result manually to pass or fail okay so you can decide if you want to uh, allow this setting or not and then uh, you can also assign a particular level so there are like a basic uh, advanced and also uh, expert level okay so depending on the level uh, they will have different types of access to different sections um, so depending on what kind of uh, users you are creating you can define a level also for uh, the group level so there is a owning group you can decide who is the owning group either the admins or the all users so depending on who is the owning group he can uh, the user of that particular group can only make the changes okay so these are all the different uh, options which are available uh, with a user group and a user which you create um, we have already seen how you can delete different users and different user groups and then as i said we can create different admins also who have got uh, the admin permissions okay and now uh, let's see how we can uh, define which user groups can have what access okay so uh, if you go to any particular section like uh, execution section and go into properties here uh, you will see the owning group name okay and uh, this is by default all users inherited for all the different sections okay but you can always change this for example um, if i want to uh, provide a group to a module section right so what i can do i can check out this modules and then uh, i can change this owning group name and there is also a viewing group name okay so right now there is no um, group assigned to this viewing group name but once you assign this only these users can view this particular module section they cannot make any changes okay and if i want to make this something specialist right for design specialist maybe so the design specialist will be the owner of this particular section module section and uh, the tosca specialist can only view this particular modules or you can also keep it all users so all users can view this particular section but they cannot make any changes like uh, uh, adding modules deleting modules or uh, updating the modules okay this you can do it at any level uh, if you want a particular component folder uh, where you want a particular project to have access right so you can define this owning group name and viewing group name uh, using this you can then uh, make sure that the particular group has the right access across your workspace okay so this is more of uh, increasing your uh, security for your user workspace if there are multiple users working on the same project or different projects inside the same repository so there is authentication where uh, you will set some password for a particular user and then there is authorization where you will provide certain access rights to those particular user groups and uh, users right so talking about uh, changing passwords or setting passwords for different users that can also be done right so here uh, when you add a particular user there is an option to set password okay and uh, as an admin i can do this i can set a particular password for this particular user so whenever he tries to log in he has to provide this password okay maybe i i made some mistake in entering the password two times so let's try again
okay so the password is set now i can always come back and uh, reset this uh, again click on set password and then change the password okay so this is how uh, you can set uh, passwords for different users within your user groups uh, and the admin can do that also if you want to track uh, what the user is doing in your workspace like what it is opening where uh, which text agents they are using or where they are making changes right so things like that if you want to track you can also create a personal data report now this personal data report uh, it will be generated uh, inside your workspace and uh, it will be in an excel format so you can always go ahead and view this okay so right now you can see there is no uh, report here because this user hasn't logged in yet but uh, if i look at the uh, admin report okay so here you can see it is showing me which machine id i have used uh, which workspace id which user id uh, which username okay uh, if there are multiple revisions uh, then the creation date uh, the object id so this will tell me what objects i'm making changes on right and any particular comment so this type of reports can be generated for every user to track uh, their usage okay so uh, this is all the functionality which is available inside user management uh, inside tosca and uh, this you can use to manage your users and your user groups their access rights their uh, username passwords uh, or even tracking their usage so that's all for uh, this particular uh, video where i've shown you um, the user management in tosca and do tune in to our channel uh, to see more interesting videos on tosca or to learn tosca right from scratch